hey guys and welcome to today's video so i think i'm going to do another little weekend vlog for this video i vlogged last weekend and it reminded me of when i used to vlog over the weekends all the time i used to do weekend vlogs like every single weekend when i was living at school at stony brook i would like come home on the weekends and spend the weekend with harris and i would just like vlog everything that we did and vlogging last weekend made me miss doing that so i'm going to do another weekend vlog I'm slightly considering bringing back weekend vlogs, but don't hold me to it. I don't know yet. Most weekends are not too eventful, so we'll see. I definitely want to do weekend vlogs on the weekends that we do have stuff going on, and this weekend we do. So I am doing another weekend vlog. So it is Saturday. It's around like 10 o'clock in the morning. We had the boys' second little gym class this morning, which if you saw last weekend's vlog, you would know that that class, there was a lot of crying, and they just were not about it but this week the boys did so much better they actually like engaged and explored and did a little lesson plan so i would definitely say their second class was significantly better than their first so we got home from that around 9 30 put the boys up for a nap and then i headed back out and quickly picked up some coffee for harris and i and we're just hanging out now. We're going to wait for the boys to wake up and everything. And once they do, I have to go food shopping today. So I'll take you guys along for that. And then later on today and tomorrow, I need to go to the nursery, organize it because it is such a disaster again. It gets away from me every time and just becomes such a mess. So I need to clean out their drawers, clean their closet, bring some larger size clothes into their room, go through their clothes, all that kind of stuff. So I'll be doing that tonight and then tomorrow. And then also tomorrow I'm taking the boys to my grandma's to visit her. So I'll take you guys along for that. So little weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, I'm just going to hang out now and wait for the boys to wake up. And then once they do, they'll eat and everything. And then I will head out and go food shopping. All right, we have this little one up. This is Ben. <laughs> He's up now. Okay, so Ben is up. We have been battling a sleep regression for, I don't know, a week, two weeks now at this point. And so we are struggling with some short naps for these boys, whether it's one or the other. Someone's always waking up way too early from their nap. I extended this first nap to be like an hour and a half to make up for the fact that their second nap was really struggling and now the first and the second nap are struggling so these boys are not getting a lot of daytime sleep which leads to cranky babies, early morning wakings, all right bubbles, all that stuff. So that is something I've been dealing with over the past few weeks and I don't think I've shared with you guys. I think it's like the eight to 10 month sleep regression. It's because he's learning to do things like this, pull up, crawl, wanting to stand, all that fun stuff. So. This sucks a little bit, but that's okay. We will make it through it. So now I have bottles warming up for them. We're gonna play in their playroom actually for a little bit before I go in and I get Jack up so that their schedules aren't too far off. They'll eat and then I'll head out and go food shopping. Okay, I just pulled up to stop and shop if you can see that. I am very tired. I've been up since five o'clock in the morning because of this said sleep progression. The boys didn't wake up at five. I woke up at five, but I have like the anticipation of them waking up early in the back of my mind in the mornings. So I literally torture myself and sit there until they wake up and the boys woke up at like 5 45 this morning so i am very tired i want to try and get through food shopping as fast as i can i do have a lot of stuff to pick up so i don't know how fast i'm gonna be but i'm gonna try and go as fast as i can so that i can get home and i can nap at some point hopefully today i'll be able to get away for a nap i'm really hoping but um yeah i'm gonna go in now i'm gonna get everything i need and then when we get back to my house i'll do a little grocery haul all right, I'm done. I did it in about 30 minutes. I love my stop and shop because I have such a method of how I get everything that I'm able to do it in a nice timely manner. So now, time to load all this up, go home, and then I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, this is like the first batch of stuff. I still have stuff in bags, but I got some white Italian bread some cinnamon bread and some tortillas to make little quesadillas for the boys, chicken for meals for this week for Harris and I, candy for Harris. I got a bunch of snacks and I also got cereal. 
I got the honey bunches of oats with almonds. And then for snacks, I got some Cheez-Its, some Pirate Booty, and some Golden Oreos. I picked up these granola bars that I've never had before. They seemed interesting and good, so I'm going to give those a go. I got some Annie's Organic Mac and Cheese for the boys for some of their meals, like to add to dinners. Cheese for those quesadillas. I got some cold cuts for myself for lunch, so I got buffalo chicken and pepper jack cheese. I got a frozen pizza for Harris and I for one night this week. I got these veggie burgers, which the boys have had a few times now, and they absolutely love these, so I thought I would do like a veggie burger with some mac and cheese for one of their dinners this week. And then, of course, I had to pick up these sugar cookies. I, you can't go holiday season without getting like these ones or the Halloween ones or the Thanksgiving ones. So I picked these ones up. Eggs, since the boys have eggs almost every single day and we need those to cook other things like French toast, pancakes, all that kind of stuff. I got more breadcrumbs to make some breaded chicken cutlets for a salad. I'll show you guys the salad in a second. And I got cold brew. So I'm gonna put all this away and then I'll empty these two bags and I'll show you guys what else I got. Okay, and then the last bit of things I got, I got yogurt for myself, yogurt for the boys, cottage cheese for the boys, ice cream for Harris and I, more butter because we're running out, three of these like meat pouches that the boys enjoy to add something else to their dinners. Two like already put together salads. Harris and I love these. These are really easy meals and we just add chicken to them. So I got an avocado ranch and this is a new one. I got a sunflower crunch. I got some sweet potatoes and avocados for the boys, raspberries and blackberries for the boys, and then tin foil. So now I'm going to put all this away and probably make lunch for the boys here in a little bit. Okay, so it is a lot later now and I did plan on starting on the boys nursery today however if you can hear i think i got sick i woke up this morning not feeling a hundred percent but i honestly thought maybe it was because i drank last night however i came home from the grocery store i did a little grocery haul for you guys um harris and i put the boys down for a nap and i decided to lay down myself and when i woke up from that nap I just didn't feel good. My nose is pretty stuffy. I think it's just like a normal cold. I had a cold like this maybe like a month ago. So I honestly think that's what it is. But because of that, I didn't wind up starting on the boys nursery, like cleaning it out and everything. So I'm going to tackle that tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to go to my grandma's house if I'm not feeling 100%. Um, so I'll dedicate the day to like the boys nursery. So yeah not feeling the best which kind of sucks because like i said i was sick like a month ago so this sucks but it's the winter time what are you gonna do anyway the boys are down now they went to bed like 10 minutes ago and i have cookies in the oven i'm making those sugar cookies for harris and i i'm going to have a little dessert and then i'm going to take some nyquil and go to sleep try and get to bed early tonight so that I can get a good amount of sleep, wake up tomorrow, hopefully feeling better. I feel like when you have like a cold, the first day is always the worst, like the day that you get sick. So I'm hoping by tomorrow, I feel good enough to where I can tackle the boys nursery. I just made a killer dessert. I took three of these cookies and smashed them up and put them with two scoops of vanilla ice cream. And I'm gonna eat this and climb into bed and go to sleep. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. So it is the next day now. It's now Sunday. It's around a quarter to a 10 in the morning. I just put the boys in for their first nap of the day and I'm actually going to get ready in a little bit. I woke up this morning feeling so much better even though I don't sound a whole lot better. I feel so much better. I don't really feel sick. I just I'm still a little congested, but last night I took NyQuil. I seriously went to bed at like 8 o'clock and I got really good sleep. The boys slept in till about like 6.45, almost 7 this morning. So I was able to get a lot of sleep last night, which I think definitely helped me kind of kick this cold in the butt. And so I'm feeling so much better today. And after speaking with my grandma, she said that she feels comfortable with us coming over if it's just like a little cold and everything. None of us have had fevers. Um you know, we're fine. So she's comfortable with us coming over. We did talk about it. I wasn't going to just show up at her house not feeling great. So she said we can still come over. So after the boys wake up from this first nap, I will feed them, get them dressed and everything, and we will head out and 
go and visit her until their next nap and they'll take that nap on like the car ride home so while the boys are napping now i need to get myself together i haven't even done anything to my hair or anything today so i need to just throw myself together get dressed i need to make the boys lunch and pack the diaper bag and then i will probably just sit around and wait for them to get up so I am going to take you guys along to my grandma's and then when we get back later on, I will tackle the nursery as much as I can today. It's going to get dark by the time I start doing it, so the lighting probably won't be the best. But I'm going to get as much as I can done today and then if I have to finish up tomorrow morning, I will. So you'll get like three days out of this vlog if I don't finish everything tonight. So that's what we have going on today. For now, like I said, I'm going to go get myself ready, get the diaper bag ready and everything. So that's taken care of so we can head out the door as soon as the boys wake up and eat and get ready. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, pack the diaper bag and I am getting the boys lunch together and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm bringing for lunch for them today. Whenever I go to my grandma's house, I try and bring something that's really easy to feed them, not too messy and also easy to transport. So I just made the boys a quesadilla and as you can see, I kind of cut it down the middle so that each baby can get a little quesadilla of their own. I'll cut this in like two pieces and let them chew at it. It's just a tortilla with like shredded cheese in the middle super easy to make and transport and warm up and then i'm going to put in a little container some raspberries and blackberries for the boys and then in a ziploc baggie i'll bring some of these i recently found these at bye bye baby and the boys absolutely love them and they also have protein powder in them from the chickpeas that they're made with they're really delicious i enjoy them and that's what the ingredients are really good packed with a bunch of different veggies so i'll bring these as a little side snack for them to have along with this and the berries so i'm going to pack this up and pack the rest of the diaper bag and once i get the boys up and dressed i'll share their outfits with you guys and we'll head out to my grandma's okay excuse the lighting it's dark in their room because i have the blinds still shut but the boys are up now having their bottle and i picked out their outfits so they're going to wear these hoodies from miles baby it's the same exact hoodie it's like gray and navy and then with those these sweatpants are part of different sets that have matching sweatshirts but the boys wore those earlier in the week so they're just gonna wear these sweatpants because the blues match with those sweatshirts and then i do need to pick out some socks this is all gonna get tackled later this is such a disaster but i'm gonna pick out some socks and then once they are done eating we'll get dressed and i'll load them up Okay, we just pulled up to my grandma's. I need to text her and have her come out and grab a baby. It's around 11.40 now. We'll probably stay until like 2, 2.30. We're gonna have lunch here and everything. And then we'll head home around like 2, 2.30 so that the boys can take their second nap in the car. That's usually what I like to do when I come to my grandma's. I plan it so that they sleep on the way home since it usually takes me like 30, 40 minutes to get home. Um, but I will drive around for a little bit to let them sleep for about like 45 minutes to an hour. So we are going to head on in now. Okay, we just got back from my grandma's. I'm in my car. That's why the lighting is so bad because I just have like the overhead lights on. But I drove home and I drove around for a little bit so that the boys could take a pretty decent nap. They slept for about an hour because there was a little bit of traffic. So that is good. If you can hear, my nose got super congested on the way home. I think it's because I had the heat on in my car. But we are home now. I'm going to head inside and make some bottles for the boys. And then Harris actually went and grabbed lunch with some friends. So he will be home in like 10 or 15 minutes. And when he gets home, I think I'm going to start on the boys' room. I don't know if I'm going to finish it today. I always feel like it's a bigger test than it actually is. So we will see. But if I don't, like I said, I will definitely finish it tomorrow. Because I really need to get this done. It irks me like how messy the boys' room is. Hi, Bubby. How is your little nappy on the way home? Look, Jack got a little bit of a scratch on his face because the boys were wrestling at my grandma's house. So that tends to happen. But did you take a good nappy? Did you have fun? You ready to go inside and have a babas? Yeah. Let's get you boys unloaded. Okay, it's time to tackle everything. So this bin is clothes that just don't fit the boys anymore a lot of it on the top is not folded and I really need to get around to folding it but I'm going to try and fit some more stuff in that I'm just gonna throw stuff on top of it and fold it at a later date but I need to go through the boys drawers and then most of this stuff in here I'm going to move into the closet in their room this stuff starts at I believe 9 to 12 and 12 months plus 
um their closet's like pretty much empty because a lot of the stuff they're wearing now so i'm going to move all this in there there's some stuff down here that needs to be hung up and over there so i will do that while i move this stuff over so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first and then we'll tackle like the bins in their room and their drawers Okay, so I only wound up moving a few things into this closet. Down here, I put their coats that do fit them as of now. But the rest of the stuff just looked too big, and I know that's not going to fit them for a while, so I just moved this stuff in. Now, I'm not even going to bother with this bin because it's literally just bibs and burp cloth, so it's going to be a mess no matter what. But this bin needs to be conquered. This bin needs to be conquered. I want to clean up the floor. These are like their sweatshirts that are hung up there. I might move those, but I'm not too sure. And then this is something else I took in from that closet. I need to go through this drawer, clean it out, and restock and organize this drawer. So time to get to it. Okay, I just cleaned out the drawer. I didn't realize how much it didn't fit them anymore. That was just like taking up space in there. It is basically empty. So this middle section, I have to do their laundry. So this is where all their pajamas will go. And then here I'm going to put some sweatshirts once we go through the closet. They have some like loose crew necks in there. So that's where that will go. And this down here is everything that is going to be put away into that bin. So now it's time for me to tackle those bins in there. These bins are such a disaster. I've seriously just been throwing things on top of things. So I really need to clean these out. I don't even know what's in like the bottom of them because I haven't even touched the bottom in probably like a month. So time to tackle these. Okay, so I went through and I cleaned all the sweatpants out. There's a bunch there and there that no longer fit them. So now I have ones that are almost, like the boys are almost grown out of here. And then I have some new ones. We have Miles Baby here. Um, this is Mini Monster, I think. Rock Your Baby. These ones are Hux Baby, um, Splendid, Gap, and Splendid again. So these are all, these ones are like nine months. And then all these are like nine to 12 months. So these all fit the boys and will for a while. And then in this bin, I cleaned this out. There was a bunch of shorts in here that the boys didn't fit to in the summer. They were too big, but obviously next summer they're not going to fit into those. So unfortunately, they didn't get to wear any of these, but they'll be put away with all their clothes that will get used if we have a boy in the future. Or eventually all this stuff is just going to get donated. So in this one, I did take down all the hoodies that were hanging on the little like knob in their closet just because it was getting kind of jam-packed and I just laid them into this bin here so I'm gonna put these away I'm gonna go put all this in that bin in the playroom and then I'm gonna replenish the top drawer and this task will be done okay I just cleaned out this top drawer a little bit and restocked there's some lint <laughs> but I put a bunch of water wipes back here I just have a bunch of different like desitins and prescription things for diaper rashes and then I loaded up on some water wipes and then I have two tubs of a and here stacked up on diapers and then I have a bunch of stuff for when the boys are sick so I have their saline nose drops I have some baby Vicks I have their thermometer of course and then this is just some Vaseline that I use to seal some of Ben's little eczema patches he's developed eczema you can hear them playing down there. But when I put lotion on him, I put this over top to keep them extra moisturized. And then a bunch of socks, this stuff. This is just going to be a mess. I'm just going to leave that. So time to clean all this up. And then I am done for the day. But I am going to end the vlog here. I think I have enough footage between yesterday and today. And I'm glad I got done everything I wanted to get done for the boys room today. So I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, head on down there and subscribe. I appreciate that always. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.